everybody it's Charlene aka Island Girl Diamond Painting Journal welcome to my channel hi everyone so it is a Saturday July 20th 2019 and it's actually nighttime I usually don't do recordings at night um, but I am a little laid up because I had a little accident today and uh, my knee it's an old injury and uh, I don't know if I twisted badly or what but I have a lot of pain with my knee right now so I'm just taking it pretty easy this evening because of my knee having an owie anyway so <clears throat> I was out today uh, before the owie uh, running some errands and stuff and I popped into the local craft store and um, actually uh, Jeremy Fryer inspired me with his polymer clay pens and I wanted to try that out and I went into the store looking for polymer clay now they had polymer clay but it wasn't the nice ones uh, the sort the kind that uh, Jeremy used um, they had just like the plain ones um, and they were not the, the the baking sort this was just like uh, what they call plasticine and um, it, it was just in a very uh, weird color brown and gray and that was no good I didn't like the look of it so I didn't even bother um, I may have to get that eventually from Amazon the Sculpey clay that's what he used uh, so I was just poking around in the store and I saw something and then I poked around some more and I saw something else and hey one and one equals two and I got inspiration I made a purchase this is not a big purchase it's a small purchase um, I am pulling up my calculator because I will want to give you the conversion for what I bought so I could not get the items I needed to make uh, the polymer clay pens so I thought <laughs> how about some cover minders so guys I bought some magnets and let me see let me convert this right so this packet has two four six eight ten magnets and I paid three dollars and seventy three US for this I am pretty sure you all can find stuff like this in the dollar store if you are feeling crafty and that's all it is to it I just you know I was so inspired by what I saw Jeremy did I felt crafty again and I wanted to try something um, so I may have to wait on the clay but I am going to try cover minders so yeah um, so yeah certain things in my country are very very expensive which is why I do a lot of online shopping um, believe it or not I get all my clothes from the US and uh, a lot of other things because it's cheaper there than it is here uh, life on the island is very expensive guys and we don't earn a lot here so everyone does what they can to budget and to make their money uh, you know work for them uh, I myself my job while it's a good job it's not the best paying job I if I told you guys what I work for you all would be shocked I was speaking to one of my American friends last night and uh, he was telling me that um, what I work for someone in the US they would not be able to survive on that for a year and uh, yeah I, I agree you can't survive on that here for a year either um, but 
I live in a home where there are other working persons and we all supplement our incomes together and we make it work. So yeah, I'm, I'm rambling on about money <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you guys want to see this. So yeah, I paid $3.73 US for 10 magnets and again, I think you all could get that in the dollar store and I paid, okay, let me convert it. <clears throat> right, two dollars and seventy six seven uh two dollars and sixty eight cents for these. Are you seeing it? So let me let me crack into this. And this guy's was in the craft store. There was a giant bin with a lot of different patterns. Of these things okay so there are one two three four five six and they're little sparkly daisies I think they're kind of cute um, it's stiff it's not rubbery it's stiff and um, I actually when I saw this I went on Aliexpress and I checked out plastic um, shapes uh, glitter shapes and uh, I came across a couple links which led me to these things. I forget what I looked up for and I got this, but anyway, there are lots of them uh, on AliExpress. Um, <clears throat> I saw several in that bin that looked like uh, your special gems, you know, those fancy shapes that you would find in uh, special gem or rhinestone uh, paintings. I saw a lot of them there and it was not that expensive they're fairly cheap and <clears throat> yeah so I am pretty sure if you are thinking about trying out this craft you can go to your local craft store and you may find stuff like this and it may be cheaper for you all than it is here for me so the idea that I have, maybe I should have just used this design instead of doing this. Okay. And the, the magnet is, whoa, very strong. I mean, it's not the same kind that you usually get when you buy cover minders. But these are strong and I'm just thinking about hot gluing them to the back of the daisy like that and I use the other magnet and it becomes a cover minder so the package just has 10 and I have six of these flowers so that means not all of these flowers are going to become cover minders I'll just get five cover minders out of this purchase yeah. and there they are very strong very very strong so um all together guys I mean I'm not going to count the hot glue and I mean let's see that's three and two five and counting the cents let's say that's about six dollars 
six dollars for five cover minders. I don't think that's too bad. That's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, six dollars for five cover minders. So this is my <coughs> sorry. This is my little project. Uh, for today and I am not going to work on this now because I will have to get up and go hobble over which I you know I, I could have gone and gotten the hot glue and done this while I'm on camera um, but yeah it's it's in another room and I, I can't hobble right now so <laughs> I need to stay put and I, I, I was bored really guys I was bored and that's why I'm doing this video but I really wanted to show you my little idea. So this is a very short video and uh, homemade cover minders. Have you ever thought of trying it? Now, I, I really should say this right now. Um, this is by no means um, me saying do not support. I fully support my creative friends and those who have businesses. Um, creating and making stuff for sale. I fully support it. I support it 100% and I do support uh, those stores as much as I can. Like I mentioned before, I am trying to get to everyone and at least give them one sale. At least. And, you know, the thing is uh, with me, because of my financial situation, I can't always which is why I put myself on the no buy because I did go a little crazy earlier in the year when I discovered the craft and I went wild buying stuff because I realized diamond painting was here to stay in my life so I wanted to get everything that I wanted and needed to get started and be comfortable in the craft um, I'm currently on the no buy in order to recoup some of what I spent and I'm hoping that in a month or two I'll be back and I can start doing conservative purchases uh, from there and I won't be going crazy like you know oh my god I need to get it before the will ends <laughs> which is what was happening a couple months ago when I first got into it yeah I was buying stuff like there was no tomorrow so um, yeah now it's it's all about for me it's all about trying different things um, you guys would have seen my storage uh, I could have gotten and I, I did I still do I every time I see Harbor Freight containers I get the itchy fingers yeah uh, every time I see the Doris uh, containers I get the itchy fingers I love the look of them and I love just the idea of having them but really and truly they're not practical for me and my workspace which is why I created uh, the storage system that I have um, so that's crafty part one this is going to be crafty part two and it's just five cover minders that I'm going to attempt and see how it works out um, I'll see how it goes maybe it will work out maybe it may not um, it does not mean that I will not be supporting my crafty friends I will still be supporting everyone um, as a matter of fact, I, oh, I, I was contacted today that something was being shipped out for me. And again, guys, this was before I went on the no buy. Um, diamond painting with sparkles, right? I had made an order with them, but they were out of stock. So I was on the pre-order list and my order shipped out today. So yeah, I have acrylic pens coming and I have sparklers and AB diamonds coming. So yeah, guys, those are things that are going to come up on my channel very soon. And 
you guys will get to see that uh, on the next video I'll see you I'll, I'll sh let you guys see how this turned out um, I'm still working on my current whip I thought I would have finished it by today but that hasn't happened <laughs> yeah so uh, I'm hoping that in another day or two I will finish it and uh, I'll also finish the star or and I'll give you guys a post review so guys that's it for me I just wanted to show you what mischief I was getting into today uh, I'm gonna try making my own cover minder and just see how that pans out uh, maybe it will be a success maybe it will be a failure but hey I'm trying and that's all we can do it's all about being crafty and trying new things so guys thanks again for joining me I really appreciate you being here thank you to all the new subscribers I'm I'm so glad that you all are here oh I should tell you I should tell you I am so happy to see that I you know I'm seeing so many new subscribers coming in and I'm so happy you guys are with me it's just blowing my mind that people are here and they're sticking around and they're looking at my videos I again I love when you comment it just brightens my day it's amazing to hear you all talk and and you know tell me what you think and I get to respond to you I just love that I love and I love anything and everything you have to say <laughs> I love all feedback uh, regardless if it's positive or negative I will love it um, so I am approaching I believe I crossed 75 and I am not very far away from 100 and guys I'm telling you now if I cross 100 I will be doing a giveaway now because of where I live I would not be able to do uh, a parcel to send because while I was out today I did go check with the post office to find out about sending parcels to the US or wherever else in the world and it's crazy crazy expensive uh, let's see sending a parcel from where I am to the US that is half a pound half a pound will cost me 45 US dollars so yeah I'm thinking I'm not going to waste my money paying for a postal service to send a parcel and that's regular post guys that's not you know express delivery or first class post nope that's just regular meal I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on the postal service I'd rather put that in a gift and give to you so I've decided that I will be giving gift cards instead one of which will be a diamond art club gift card and I have an idea to give uh, gift cards or to pay for a certain amount of merchandise from stores uh, that sell diamond related products and they would be of course friends people in our community supporting our community so um, yeah those are some things that are in the wigs I will need to contact some of those stores and ask them if they'll be willing to work with me on this basically uh, whoever would win that uh, that I'm, I'm looking to give away three prizes whoever would win those other two prizes one prize would be diamond art club uh, the other two would be for particular stores um, I would pay a certain amount and you are free to go in and purchase or to pick out certain things and I would pay up to a certain amount if you go over the amount of course you can pay the extra so I need to liaise with uh, certain people, certain stores that I have in mind for this and uh, hear what they have to say if it's even possible. If it's not, then it will just be three Diamond Art Club gift cards. But I really would rather the money go to uh, 
our people, people that are in our community who are creators and makers of crafty stuff that we as diamond painters absolutely love. So guys, again, those are some things that are coming up on the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please consider hitting the thumbs up and uh, consider if you have not subscribe, please, to the channel and hit the bell for notifications about new uploads whenever I do them. They are random uploads. I don't upload every day, but when I do, you will see it if you hit the bell. Thanks again, guys. It's so great to see you and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.